What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play today. I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Great War mod. We are playing as Germany. Last episode, we were continuing to produce out some new infantry units here. And you can see I've got a brand new one, two, three, four, four more of these on the way here. Just as soon as they can receive, let's see, what are they lacking? Field guns. So if I go back over here, yeah, that's the only area right now showing me in total need. So we'll go ahead and plug in that extra military factory there. Still running at speed five here in order to, um, I'm actually going to add these two guys right here. Very nice. And another new military factory available now. So I'm going to put that in right there. And the civilian factories actually need some more jobs. So I'm going to plug in some additional military factories here. Battle of Desik. The Albanians have scored an upset victory over the Turkish. The M Ottoman Empire is too weak. Yes. Sounds about right, doesn't it? We are currently stacked up with all the available naval bases that we can potentially get until the next tech level. Vest pocket camera is finished. Um, I'm going to continue plugging into the field artillery here. So a new research we need to pick now. We're working on the field hospital level one getting these artillery upgrades done, and then mining level one is finishing up as well. A long time to go, five years there on the 1916 heavy industry tech. So let's, I tell you what, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get the improved oil drilling is what I'm thinking, because if we go to trade here, I'm not producing out a ton of oil at all. Um, we're importing some of that. That will probably go away once the war kicks off. Well, I am importing from the Netherlands, so really I don't have to worry about that, maybe. At least not as much as I thought. Okay. Everything else is being produced out appropriately. 436 days on these here. That's a pretty... That's not too bad. 600 days over here. Naval-wise, we're looking good until 1914. So, battle cruisers, dreadnoughts, etc., Hmm. You know, we could start on some land doctrine stuff here. I think that makes sense. Mass charge there. 225 days. We are producing out battle cruiser, protected cruisers, etc. The battle cruiser now. <clears throat> 73 versus 9. Okay. We will be able to produce out more of those battle cruisers as time goes on. I'm going to go ahead and add this new infantry unit over here to the Belgian front. We will use that group there to uh, have Luxembourg capitulate as well once the war kicks off for us, right? So it is April 1911 now. We're going to continue on. Got a nice new fleet going right here, grouping up. So he's got two battle cruisers and a battleship and a light cruiser and seven destroyers. Mining level one is now complete. Uh, naval doctrines will probably be pretty useful for us, right? A long ways to go on those techs there. 706, blah, blah, blah. I think the next actual earliest one is going to be this improved infantry equipment one there, which um, cavalry soft attack goes up, motorized and mechanized go up, and then as well as soft, as well as leg infantry. 142 days there to upgrade the siege artillery. Hmm. Is naval doctrine more important than that heavy artillery? I just got an idea. Maybe we can put some heavy artillery in to, um, because they're good till through 1930 and really good through 1936. Uh, that may help us with a couple of different things. Heavy artillery hard attack plus 10. That's that soft attack that we're getting there. Eh. I don't think it's super important right now, guys. I really don't. So. Oh, we could work on electronics over here. Yeah. Encryption. Torpedo propulsion, right? Uh, the poison gas stuff still a ways away. Let's go ahead and grab the torpedo propulsion there. Just moving along down in the tree appropriately. Support Italy is finished. We did decide to support Italy. Um... And we're going down here. I 
don't really need the extra manpower quite yet. We did just support Italy. So we could send uh, German advisors as well. The Berlin-Baghdad railway here. Interesting, just taking a look around now. Secret alliance with Romania. We could try to get that one next to try to turn the opinion of the Romanians around a little bit. <clears throat> if we go to Italy now, uh, of course, we need the world tension to be at 40% there. And he needs 80%. It actually needs 80% world tension in order to join up with us. Does that go for the Romanians as well? I bet it does. Oh god, they need world tension to be 100% there. So they need the full-blown war to kick off there. Political power plus 75. Anti-British policy. So many choices, right, guys? Um, we could actually work on the industrial tree next. I think that probably makes a lot of sense. Okay. So let's do that. Let's... let's uh, Continue down here and go with infrastructure effort like this. Time for a new research here now. And yeah, let's plug in on this improved infantry equipment there at 434 days. Okay, another new unit here that we're going to use to plug into the, uh, excuse me, the Russian front. And I almost forgot, we do have our territories here in Africa that we need to supplement. And I've got a couple of things going on here in Asia as well, including down here. Uh, Australia is part of the Entente, so we could actually do some fighting down here. We actually have zero divisions in that area right now. Um, hmm. So I've created a new theater here, German Theater 2. We're going to call this the African Theater, or the Africa Corps. Okay. And then any divisions over here in Africa that we may be able to reorganize, I have one. So I'll give you a new group here, and you're actually going to be... I'm trying to assign you a new theater. There we are. This is going to be called the Asian Theater. Asian Corp. Okay. So he is, he's not even going to get a general for now. Um, but we do have, let's see, three of these divisions here that I've put into Teal Group in the Africa Corps. So your front line orders, of course, are going to be along here. Um, oh, you know what? It shouldn't be right there. It should actually try to be right here on that little pocket. Uh, we've got these other German divisions here as well, but there's only a couple of them. So once I start to supplement them, we can reorganize them going forward. Um, but the good news is the Russian front now has 38 divisions, and so I think that's going to be quite a few there to go up against the Russians. Uh, Austria now showing about 30, about 40 divisions there as well. Okay. We do need to start down the path of electronics, too, with our research once I actually get down to another tech slot here. Has to be 1916 in order to grab that, though. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at the tree going down even further. <laughs> Including naming Hitler the Chancellor. Wow. Lots to do here on the German tree, huh? That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, new military factories now. And I've got just one of them, so... I think I'm okay. I <clears throat> think I'm okay there. And I think one of the reasons why we're having such a problem here with the artillery is because this one... Let's switch you out for a field hospital like that. 
So that moves your artillery need to down, right? Yeah, we go to a filled there immediately. But it does bump up significantly there for our support equipment. So we're going to start supplementing the support equipment production here uh, like this. Horse-drawn vehicles, of course, needed for those field hospitals. So we're seeing a need there as well. New projects for the civilian factories now at this point. And so... Only producing six oil right now. Yeah, we can't build synthetic refineries at any time soon. Does anywhere need some uh, infrastructure by chance? Got a three out of ten in these areas, two out of ten, three out of ten, etc. Let's place one there. We'll give a couple over here as well. Machu Picchu has been uncovered. Nice. And the reason for that, guys, is just so I can stack up a little bit over here. We'll give up to a level 3 on these for infrastructure. Uh, time for a new focus again here. So, geez, look at all the stuff we can do. Start German uh, position in the east, right? The Agadir crisis here. Um, requires anti-British policy. which allows you to prepare for war down this way. Gives me some extra manpower, army experience, naval experience, etc. Okay. The Boer Revolt down here, interesting. Hmm. Okay, screws up deployment there. I'm not even sure what that is. Colonial administrators report a large amount of local East African men, unemployed fighters, looking to serve in the German army. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we were working on the industrial stuff. It is 1911, so... Let's go for dockyard expansion here. 70 days. New military factories now. Two more, so we'll plug you in like this. Constructions, yeah, we're just still working on the infrastructure that we just ordered, and we can put in for a new round of military factories here. Very good. Modify the government here yet again. Chief of the Navy is a good one to have. Submarine specialist, old guard, commerce rating. That's pretty good. Decisive battle, though. I like the decisive battle guy there. We'll take him. Cool. Let's continue on. Again, July of 1911. 75% now in national unity, though. Interesting. Achtung! Okay, this division here. Let's go ahead and move you up to the dockyard. We're going to move you down to Africa. Okay, research slot is available again here now. Let's go ahead and get the decryption going there in 142 days. So working on that industrial or that uh, electronics tech there. And what are we showing over here? Support equipment need. Okay. So yeah, trying to catch up here with the support equipment production. I'm actually going to shift another two military factories over to that production there. Field artillery upgrade is finished. The Agadir Crisis. Moroccan citizens have begun a rebellion against the Sultan. As the French are preparing to lift the siege on the palace in Fez, the Germans have sent the Panther a port to the port of Agadir in support of the rebels, claiming to be protecting German mercantile interests in the region, presuming that in the event of rebel failure, Morocco will pass to direct control by France. If nothing is done in this situation, war could break out in Europe. The tension is growing, so the Agadir Crisis there... That gives us a 5% modifier. We do need to slow it down here, so I'm not missing out on any researches. That's a good one to get, 531 days. I guess we could technically grab the encryption there at 90 days, so we'll get that. Okay, looking good, looking good. Up to 15 ships here now, my new fleet. 
Battle cruisers. Another one's getting ready to pop out there pretty soon here. Making two of those per year. Protected cruiser there. Only making two of those per year as well, which is fine. All right, uh, this guy is about to arrive here. So he's made it. We're going to shift you down. We need to figure out which sort of area is going to be my main base here in Af Eastern Africa, and I'm thinking it's going to be down here. Right? So he's going to move in, and we can combine him in there. In Western Africa here, right, some I'm actually going to create a new group for you guys. And you guys are going to be the orange group there. And we're going to be attacking... Oh man, we're going to be surrounded in these areas, aren't we? Okay. Uh, we're about to pop out a bunch of new infantry that I'm planning on sending down to Africa here in the short term. Still got another three years or so before the war breaks out. It's April, uh, August of 1911. Okay. What are we showing here now? France offers Cameroon concession. As the Agadir crisis begins to boil over, the French have come to us with a proposition. German merchants can stay in Morocco, and we get a part of the French Congo in exchange for recognizing French control over the region. The territory is not particularly useful land by any means, but it would be a good way to save face without a declaration of war. Of course, if you want the territory so bad, my Kaiser, we could always fight for it. Wow. Let's save face. Not ready for the war quite yet, guys. Um, if that was getting ready to pop out for us. And so, I think that gave us this little pocket of territory here. Nice. Okay, so that new unit is on his way down. Mm -mm. We've got... We do at least have some good army experience going now, so... Mona Lisa has been stolen. Yeah. Soft attack is pretty crap-ass right now, isn't it? We are providing those support equipment needs up to the front line here first, first and foremost. So that's pretty good. Dun, dun, uh. Still looking good there. Man, all of these divisions are about to pop out. In fact, all 10 of you. So if I bring 10 divisions down into Africa total, I think that would be good. We maybe put five here, five here. We're going to need to supplement over here eventually as well. You know what we can do with so much manpower as well? Let's go ahead and add units here to the production of new infantry. There we go. So up to 27 <laughs> at a time now. Reinforcements, what are we looking at? A thousand units in support equipment. Bring it up, back up to speed five there. Dockyard expansion is finished. Nice. Can't get this one until 1913, but that should have given me two dockyards. Very good. Okay, construction effort, airfield expansion. Bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> Prepare for war versus the Boer Revolt, Agadir Crisis, Morocco exists? Morocco doesn't exist? Nope. Okay. So we can no longer go for the Agadir Crisis, really. So that's already happened. Refend the Ottomans here. That happens May 1st of 1914, so a while to go there. Hmm. What should we try to get, guys? Um, um. Alright, let's go armament effort, I guess. 70 days there. We can continue moving down that tree. I've got so much civilian factory power, though. It's almost not even worth it. New military factory is getting ready to head out now. Um, we're going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this, this support equipment production here. All right, Qing Dynasty has declared war on the Republic of China, so we've got a revolution going on out there. We'll have to see how that slices out. 
Back to uh, Europe now. Looking pretty good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed this content, and we'll catch you next time.